guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and we are gonna do some DIY ornaments today from the Dollar Tree. Now everything but, this is polyurethane, but this is water-based. I couldn't find the polycrylic. So I just used this, I've used it before, it's fine. We're going to fill some ornaments with glitter. And I wanna do two of these bulbs. So I kind of did a makeshift cup and you'll see why in a minute, but I needed it to be large enough that I can sit this here, but the top isn't touching the bottom. So we're gonna fill these up and then we're gonna drain them. All right, so first things first, we need to get into this polyurethane. And it doesn't really matter because we're not, you're not gonna see it, we're just using it to stick the glitter to it. And I will tell you, um, I'm gonna show you here in a second, ones that I did, la or one that I did last year, if I could find it, here it is. And it's still good. There's no where it dried up or anything. So it definitely works well. Now, I, I don't want to pour, so, <laughs> I grabbed from the Halloween section these things, these syringes. Now, if you have Littles and you have some of their medicine syringes, I say grab one. And we're just gonna suck up some of the polyurethane. It's gonna look like I'm putting a lot in here, but in reality, I'm not because what we're doing, and I'm sure you've all seen this before, and if you haven't, I'm excited to show you. I'm a little obsessed with these ornaments, ornaments myself. And the great thing is too, with these syringes, I can just wash them and they'll clean up. There we go. I just want to, you wanna make sure you get it all coated inside the bulb. These bulbs, I don't, I don't know if they're food safe to do like the hot chocolate with, but I do love that they have the screw on lid, which is pretty cool. All right, let me just, and I always keep my wet wipes handy, especially for this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we got some messy stuff happening today. All which, right, so I got it all cleaned up, mostly. I think there's some on the outside of this ornament that I want to wipe off. And I wanna make sure that the tip is wiped. So what you're wanting or what is ideal is to have that sit and drain for a while. It's not gonna dry quickly on us, so that's good. But we do wanna let that sit and drain to get the, the bulk of the polyurethane or the polycrylic out so it's not overly thick, but you still want it tacky. So we're gonna leave that to the side and just let it do its thing. It's gonna take a few minutes. Now, while that is happening, let's do something a little different. So I took a styrofoam tree and I covered it just in this black chenille i'm loving this stuff guys i might have to go buy some more um so in the chenille and then i wanted to bring some green into my christmas because i don't really have anything green going on so what i'm gonna do is just string this around the tree all right so we're just gonna do that so there's our tree now if i was you know i could do it around just the bottom you could just do circles around the tree, but I liked that. And I don't know what I wanna put on top. Maybe a berry? Or three berries. Let's do three berries on top because then they'll look like pom-poms. So these are just, actually I'll probably do more than three, but let's do the three base. I wanna, Give it just a little bit of height so that when they, oops, 
that one there and where'd it go dropped it on the floor and that one here and then i'm going to put one in the center just to give it a little bit of height right and some whimsy oh i love it this may stay here in my office Ugh. I love that. I just think it's super cute. How easy was that? I mean, literally just some Dollar Tree product. And I'll show you at the very end all the finished products, but things need to start to dry. Okay, now back to our ornaments. Now, I had these ornaments, the bulb ones I got at the Dollar Tree, but these I had. Um, and so I'm like not going to buy more. I'm just going to use what I have. I tied some red and white baker's twine around it. Just going to pop it out. And this came in this huge container. And I want to say I got it at Michael's last year. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Now I'm going to fill this up. Ooh. Don't go knocking stuff over back there. Mm. I don't know if they'll go through. We're gonna see if I can just fill them up without the static. And this is the faux snow. And if you notice, the faux snow comes in a big and a fine. This is the finer of the of this type of styrofoam ball snow. So I'm just gonna cut that corner off and see if I can fill it. I definitely am gonna need the um you know what? Why are we making messes? I got a cat tray to do all my catching so I don't have this stuff all over my house. The only thing is with these styrofoam balls is they are very staticky. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's see if I can cut that open just a tad more. But if I, the most mess I can keep there we go. In this tray, the better off life will be for us all, right? And then see all the static. Ooh. You definitely want to tap it to get the balls to settle. And then I'm going to do it again. Just because when I put the lid on, I don't want a gap. And just a tad more, and then this outs inside is complete. Take your lid, and what I like to do is I squeeze these together and then pull this cap down to hold it in place. And there we go. So now we have snow. Now I have also seen where they put snowman pieces in these um, trays. Oh, excuse me, I have a cat behind me. Alrighty, now what I'm gonna do is take my marker pens. I have an orange and a black. And I just wanna do Two eyes, like coal. I hope my hair is not in your way. And then we're gonna give them a nose. I'm just uh, getting my pen primed over here because I don't know, is it dry? No. It might be dry. Let us see, yep. Hold on one. We got some ink, some paint down here, and we're just gonna give him a little nose. And I like these paint pens for this project. Um, they dry really well. And then we're gonna give him a little mouth. Right.
how fun is that? I mean, how easy is that too? Now at the tippity top, I have some greenery, just some leftovers from something. I don't know who can, who knows these days what I have leftovers from. And we're gonna just decorate them up a little bit. He's giving, I know, listen to this. He's giving a bow. I know. One of these red bows. I thought about putting it on the bottom, but I'll just leave it at the top. Now these are on twist ties. I'm not untwisting it. I'm literally just gonna cut it. Oop, there you go. And push it down because if you start untwisting things, it's gonna come untied and we do not want that. Little bow. And then we'll put, I guess it could be a girl, it could be a boy, I don't know. But that is it. Just a little snowman and I like that All the right, bow. We are ready. I picked up this glitter at the Dollar Tree in this pink. Now, if you can't find the fine, it's, this is extra fine. You definitely want the extra fine for this. I would recommend then using the snow, this type of snow that has like the glitter in it. And I think this year they even have one that's more fine. This is from last year. I would definitely say you wanna use extra fine glitter, which is why we got out the tray because this is gonna be messy, but it's so fun. So I'm gonna stick that in there, pour in some glitter, it doesn't have to be measured. Cover it with your hand and just give it a good shake, right? And make sure it's got full coverage. Uh, and then I just take what's left or any loose glitter. I'll put it in here and then I'll scoop it up later. That's it guys, look at that. Now I will stick this back over here to dry and we're gonna do it again. And then I'll clean up the glitter. And you can get multiple, multiple ornaments out of one of these little things of glitter. And they have all different colors. And if I want, I can tap it and get it back in there, but it's just easier for me. And the beauty of this is the glitter stays on the inside. <laughs> so it's not all over your house, like it's all over my house. And then you can do whatever, I'm getting a wipe out, whatever you want on the outside. You can do on the green one, you could put a Grinch face, you could take your Cricut or stickers or anything and make a saying. This is for my pink bathroom. And then I'm just gonna give it a little more zhuzhy. And you just wanna make sure that your, this one screws on. Now the ones that pop in, you wanna make sure it's dry before you take metal and slide it in here. And again, like I said, I'll show you these at the end, but those now need to dry. I will probably leave those to dry overnight. All right, I took the wood letters and out of the package and I painted them with chalk paint. This is the new Walmart chalk paint. I don't recommend it. It, it doesn't do as well, I don't think, as their old chalk paint used to, the Waverly. This is Hello Hobby brand and I don't think it does as well, but that is my opinion and we all are entitled to those. So I did a red, these are actually gonna be um, ornament toppers or gift toppers for my brother, my niece and myself, I'll keep one. And we're gonna decorate them, one with some of this fabric paint, this dry shiny, some glitter glue and this is just sparkly glitter glue and then I have gold glitter glue and I love these and they're all from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to cut this off, first of all. This one got in my way the last time, this lid. And I'm just going to decorate. 
probably polka dots and stripes seem to be my go-to with something like this. But the beauty is going to be when this dries, well, I don't think so. It got splotchy on me. All right, we're gonna fill this one in with the gold glitter. So I'm just doing a thick coat here. And then I'm gonna take, cause like up here, I don't even see the glitter. Eh, eh, look at, we're crafting on the fly, which is okay. And I'm just gonna glitter coat it. And I think my brother would appreciate not sparkly extra, you know? But that one was kind of gloppy. I don't know what happened to it. I've used it before and I've not had this issue, but that's okay. When it dries, it will be gold and sparkly. And that is what is important, right? So we have that, that simple. Cause I was questioning what I was gonna do with these, but I'm gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna add some greenery to it and kind of fancy them up a little bit. So that's the gold. Now, I feel like this one, I want to do candy cane stripes. What are we thinking? And I might just do candy cane stripes on two of them. Okay, so I'm going to say we're going to do, can't. I don't know what I'm doing here. We're, we're going to do candy cane stripes this way. Oh, come on. I'm scared. I don't want it to come out too thick. There we go. And what I love about this product here is it comes out um, very similar to royal icing. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. It's just striping. Go that way. I don't know. I like this kind of blobby look that I'm going with. And then what I might do is go over it with some glitter. The one thing is once you get it out of its container, it does glob up a little bit, which is fine. Let's put some glitter on there. What do you guys think? You agree too? Good, I agree. This is just some gold glitter. I think this is from Target, but they do sell it at Dollar Tree. I did tell you this was gonna be messy, didn't I? I think I did. I think I told you this was gonna be a messy craft, <laughs> but fun. All right, we're going to let that sit up for a minute. And actually, I'll probably just leave the glitter on top overnight and let it dry, and then I can brush it off. Now we're going to do polka dots on that one. And then when I come back, we'll be able to decorate these. But these are going to have to dry. I'm being quiet because polka dots are hard. Okay, they're not hard. What's hard is that I don't do random very well. If you could see. Oh, but I'm loving this. I like the whimsy of dots. I like stripes because they are very regimented like me. I like things, like, I'm not even trying and I'm putting these in a row. Help me, help me be random. All right, back to trying to be random here. And look, I have three S's here. Those are my missing S's. And I don't want to glue, I don't want to do any type of glitter on this one. Um, the glitter on that and this will dry and it won't come off. 
so it won't be offensive to the anti-glitter crowd. Am I even showing you what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. And there we go. So we have three different S's that we're going to let dry. And then tomorrow I'll come back and we'll decorate these at the end. Like we'll put the greenery, I think some berries and some cute stuff. But these have to sit overnight. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, here are the finished ornaments. It's the next day. Guys, I love this pink. All Dollar Tree except for the polyurethane. So I have two of these. These are going to hang in my bathroom. I'm going to do a pink bathroom for Christmas this year. Done. Dry. And this will not come off. This glitter and it's on the inside. So nothing on my hands. Then I decided to take some of the other ornaments that I have done before. And this is the fabric paint. I'm loving it. It's so shiny and puffy on the outside and it sticks perfect. So I just did like, you know, a little zoopy zoo and then a Santa Claus on this one. I still have to put the hangers on them. And then for my kitchen, I took this year's gingerbread. Now, I they had a package, and I've seen them still at the store like this, with this extra fine glitter. They had one that was all gold and bronze. It took an entire package of this glitter, and I just was able to get two of them done. I mean, I had zero of this color left, but look at it. And all I did was put the polyurethane on the inside. I shook the glitter around and then I took the fabric paint and I decorated the outside so these can sit on a shelf. I'm not doing anything else to them. These are gonna be for my kitchen. Oh, I love it. This one I just filled with the little balls, the glitter filler. Look at how much glitter they let loose. And then I have these stickers. I can't even tell you how long ago I purchased them at Hobby Lobby. But this package comes with three different size of the Santa belt. And I just literally stuck it across. And I think it looks so fun. Just a sticker. You can use stickers. And then here's our little snowman, which I love. Or snow woman. I think it's more of a girl. Just how I have the bow and everything on there. So those are done. Next up, the S's are dry that I did. Here's with the, the gold glitter, which I thought was going to be candy cane stripe, but it looks a little more zebra to me. And then here's the white polka dots. Again, with that fabric paint. Guys, I'm kind of obsessed with this fabric paint. Not going to lie. I love the texture it gives and the shine. Oh, it's perfect. And then this is just with the gold glitter glue. And it doesn't come off, which is what I like. There's no, nothing to come off. And I'm just gonna put some greenery on them. I have some bag of goodies, so maybe one of them needs a snowflake or something. I'll just decorate them up. And we'll use those for uh, gift tags on, on my family's Christmas presents. Well, my brother's family, my niece and myself will have one. My other brother won't. He won't want one. He doesn't have a tree. So yeah, those are done as well. Just a little embellishment. And I just think it's perfect. And I might even take like a gift tag and kind of attach it to the front. I haven't decided on these yet, but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this little step was. So I'm going to put this away and then I want to show you the last ornament I made, which turned into a gift. I'm excited for this one. The last ornament, I got this idea off of the Walmart website. Um, K is for Karen showed this, that they sell it for $2.98. It comes in a box and it's like a manifestation ornament. So I just took scrapbook paper and I cut it in three inch by three inch squares. And then on my printer, just plain old copy paper, I printed out what I will show you and then I cut it. But it says, close your eyes and imagine your holiday wish. Write it down. And I took a piece of copy paper and I cut this by two inch by two inch by two inch, rolled it up over a pencil and tied it up. So this is what you're gonna write your wish on. Roll the paper and pop it into the ornament. 
And this is just one of those ornaments that I got a whole bunch of last year, which I know they still sell. So you write it down, pop it into here, and then you add some bling. And I took one of these baggies from the craft section, and this glitter is one of these packages. This is from last year, but I know they have them this year. I just combined all three of these pretty large glitter into a container and I separated it into four and I just put it in here. You can do any color you want. So you add your bling into the ornament and then it says, hang on your tree and see what manifests. So you can say anything you want here, any directions. Then I took, and I knew I would have a reason for these boxes. One of these gift boxes that I got just in the party section. This is not holiday. Put it together. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty decent size. The beauty is it holds one of those ornaments perfectly well. So then I'm just going to put, this is just some crinkle cut. And again, any colors, any design you want. And this doesn't have to be Christmas. I mean, you know, we all need to manifest a little joy in our lives at times. And it's all about putting it out into the universe and seeing if it gets answered. So I put this away because, you know, we don't need that anymore. My glitter bling, I even wrote on it, so we, we know what the bling is, goes down in the container and the little note paper. The only thing I didn't have and I wish I did was little golf pencils. My ornament goes in. You could write somebody's name on here with a pen, pen, put a snowman, whatever. You saw what we could do with these ornaments. You could even glitter it if you wanted to. But I think part of the beauty is seeing your note. Then this fits right on top. I close the box up. And I'm actually going to my hair, get my hair done tomorrow. And I'm taking one with me to give her because I know she'll appreciate it. This is what the gift box looks like. So it's not completely closed. And then here is the striped one. And you can put a name tag on this or whatever. I love these boxes so much. I can, I'm going to come up with a hundred things to do with them for the holiday season. But I'm just going to give this. I want to give it now so that she and her daughter have it when they're ready to decorate for Christmas or whenever. So that is everything, guys. Those are all of my ideas so far for the little plastic ornaments. And I hope you enjoyed. And you have a good one. Bye.